the evolution of laptops and portable computers. This was the first portable computer, the IBM 5100. Here it's shown powered on and attached to an external monitor. Although weighing 55 pounds, it was much lighter and portable than previous computers. The Xerox note taker was a bit more portable, and its keyboard folded out to reveal its screen. It employed what was then highly advanced technology, including 256 kilobytes of RAM and a 5 MHz Intel CPU. Launched in April 1981, the Osborne One is recognized as the first laptop computer. It was the first commercially successful portable computer. Costing $1,800, weighing 25 pounds, and shipping with a large bundle of software. Later that year, Epson released a tiny battery-powered portable computer that traded screen size for convenience. It was hailed by Businessweek magazine as the fourth revolution in personal computing. Taking a computer along with you can create a few problems. Unless it's the new Epson HX20 notebook computer. It does what most computers do without the power cord. With a built-in screen and printer, you can do real computing and word processing anywhere. At about half the cost. The Grid Compass was the first portable computer that resembled our current laptops. Because of its high price and specialized application, it was mostly used by the U.S. government. NASA used it on the Space Shuttle during the early 1980s, as it was both powerful and lightweight. And the Special Forces used them for their ruggedness, and use of solid-state memory. The TRS-80, sold through Radio Shack, was popular with journalists. They could type about 11 pages of text, and then transmit it for editing, using the built-in modem. Radio Shack's revolutionary Model 100 computer. It's a word processor, phone directory, and dialer. It even communicates with the office computer. Fletcher, how's that report? In 1984, the Commodore SX-64 was the first portable computer to feature a full-color display screen. It weighed about 20 pounds and sold for $995. It shipped with 64 kilobytes of RAM and a 1 megahertz CPU. It did not sell particularly well, but became popular with user groups and software developers. They could quickly pack and unpack the machine to use for copying software or giving demonstrations. The IBM PC Convertible was the first laptop to use the 3.5-inch floppy disk format, which went on to become the industry standard. Like modern laptops, it featured power management and the ability to run from batteries. Presenting the IBM PC Convertible, a powerful personal computer that easily converts to a full function portable. One you could use in a train, a plane, a car, or a meeting. And be as productive on the road as you are at the office. The IBM PC Convertible, one computer for people who really need two. The SLT286 was the first battery-powered laptop to support an internal hard disk drive and a VGA-compatible LCD screen. It weighed 14 pounds. In 1989 the NEC Ultralight was considered to be the first notebook-style laptop since it weighed less than 5 pounds. It was priced around $5,000 and shipped with an 8 MHz CPU. After the failure of their first laptop, Apple reworked the concept and released the PowerBook line in October 1991. They immediately caused a stir in the industry with the dark gray cases and the positioning of the pointing device. You are about to witness a revolution called PowerBook. It will let you run MS-DOS software. 
let you run Macintosh software. It will let you run away. In 1992, Olivetti developed and released the first laptop featuring a touchpad. The position near the base of the screen was the norm, as most applications were text-based, and did not require a pointing device. That same year, Olivetti released a smaller laptop, the Quaderno, capable of audio recording, while the computer was off. An almost instant boot up. It shipped with a 16 MHz CPU, 1 MB of RAM, and 20 MB of hard disk space. The Concerto was the first convertible laptop. It had a detachable keyboard, pen, and touch screen. But the touch screen only worked with the special pen. Like today's tablets, most of the electronics were housed with the screen. This laptop was definitely ahead of its time. In 2002, the Portage was the thinnest laptop to be developed, at only three quarters of an inch at the thickest part. It also featured the first 1.8 inch hard drive in a laptop. The TC1100 had a very unique design. It was a hybrid laptop which included a touch screen, stylus, and tablet mode. Unfortunately, Windows XP was not a touch-friendly OS, hampering its success. Like the Concerto, this was another laptop that was ahead of its time. Asus released the 701 in October 2007, which was the first netbook on the market. It featured a 7-inch screen, an Intel Celeron M processor, and a 4GB hard disk. The Yoga 13 was one of the first modern hybrid laptops, taking advantage of Windows 8 touch interface. The name Yoga is a reference to the unit's design, which allows four different configurations. The Razer Blade was the first true portable gaming laptop. At 0.9 inches thin, and weighing 6.5 pounds, the Blade Pro was the most portable 17-inch gaming laptop in its class. The Yoga Book Hybrid Laptop brought even more functionality in 2016. By using a digitizer panel as the keyboard, the user was able to draw, write, and type on the same panel. The trade-off was the lack of haptic feel and feedback when in keyboard mode. The 2018 version of the Yoga Book now uses e-ink for the keyboard panel. E-Ink allows for a more natural drawing surface, and for custom input entry layouts, depending on the application being used. And most importantly, it allows for reading, without wasting any battery, or having to carry a second device. Asus is currently working on Project Precog, which consists of a dual monitor laptop, similar to the Yoga Book, but without the limitations of e-ink. 
Both could be used as monitors by connecting an external keyboard. Or both monitors can be used for gaming or for presentations. In laptop mode, one monitor is used normally, while the other is used as the keyboard or control panel. السلام عليكم لا تنسوا الاعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناه تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد ان شاء الله